Hello and welcome to another lunchtime photography vlog. Today I'm throwing it back to a time when I tried experimenting with some ant photography. I'll put the picture up now. It went quite well, I got quite a bit of good interaction with it on Instagram. The idea was the worker ant sort of within our world. So I used a crayon and I was trying to get the ants on the edge on the tip of the crayon to create the sort of image that you'd get on an office wall maybe to show the inspiration of the ant within the workplace or something like that. So today I'm going to try and do something similar. I've got my 18 to 55 mil lens and I've got my 31 millimeter macro extension tube on my Canon 700D. I've also got some coloured crayons and I've also got some orange to get the juice so I can try and entice the ant a little bit. So I'm gonna try and get an ant now. I'm gonna go back inside. I've got a little portable light studio setup thing for some good light, because last time I struggled with the lighting. So I wanted to try something inside with the crayons again, try and get it on the tip. Nice white background, blown out background, and just focusing on that. So I'm going to go inside, do that, and then I might come back outside and try and get them a bit more in their natural environment, whether I include crayons and stuff within that, I'm not sure. But I'm just hoping for one or two decent pictures. So let's see what we can do. Okay, them shots inside looked quite good. I, they're not exactly how I was expecting it. They're very similar to last time. I was hoping for something a little bit special, a little bit more, and I didn't really get a shot that I was amazingly happy with. Maybe it was the ant that I chose, but I've set him off again. He's been released unharmed and unhurt. And I've come back out. I've put a little bit of orange juice on the floor to just to try and entice them out from the wall that they all appear to be on and in and I'm going to see what I can get with them. And as I say, I didn't really get the shot I was looking for inside, but maybe I'll be able to get one outside. So I'm going to try and entice a few of them out, as I say, and again, see what I can get. But it's just nice to be outside. I'm in my back garden. I've been in my back garden a lot lately just because time constraints, struggling with time to get out and have a day's photography. So these little lunchtime vlogs are ideal for me at the moment in my current situation. So yeah, hopefully they'll inspire you to look a little bit closer to home and try something a little bit different. So yeah, I'm gonna get down on my hands and knees and try and wait for an ant to get in the shot. So again, let's see what we can get. Right, a lot of them shots I wasn't happy with. It's really difficult, the ants in their natural home. They're all buzzing about everywhere, bombing around really, really fast and quick. And it's hard to, 
especially with the macro extension tube to drill in and get them within the focus but i've got one shot that i'm quite happy with it does sort of encompass that sort of struggle of the ants it's kind of a bit greetings card <laughs> i don't know what you do with it on a greetings card but it's that kind of thing so i'll bob up that shot at the end top tips that i've come up with from this shoot is to be very very patient wait for the ants to do what you want them to do don't obviously force them to do anything that they're not happy with and i think it's a bit of a waiting game i've given myself an hour well, it's a lunchtime photography vlog so it's about an hour yeah don't put too much stress on it obviously capturing them in their natural environment is definitely a good thing but you can be creative and add bits into the natural environment or take them natural out of the natural environment obviously putting them back in at the end as i said there's something about the work and trying to accomplish things which if i'd got the perfect shot i'd be really happy to put it on an office wall somewhere a really corporate wall i think it would be quite a cool shot to do to have in that environment but yeah top tips take your time knee pads because my knees were hurting by the end of it and yeah the orange juice definitely entices them out i've got quite a few shots of them using the orange juice eating it drinking it whatever they were doing but trying to get that onto the end of the pencil tip and trying to get the ants onto the end of the pencil tip was a little bit more difficult but yeah take your time don't put too much pressure on it and just have a bit of fun even when you're adding these things into the into the outside with the ants running around them and stuff the one shot that i was really really happy with was outside and it was just these the ants just hopping over these pencils which looked better being outside i think i think the natural light definitely helped so yeah that's it for another one i'll put that final image up at the end i hope you enjoy these lunchtime photography vlogs and it gives you a different sense of photography and something else that you can do at home within your lunch hour or outside at work on your lunch hour because i am fortunate enough to work from home but i know some people work in offices but yeah going on like a photo walk during your lunch hour and just capturing some photos on you on that walk that's quite a good idea or just just shooting local i'm a big advocate for shooting locally so if you can do that on your lunch hour or in an hour it is a definite positive so hopefully it's a good thing hopefully it's inspiring for people and hopefully it's helping me and also creating a different type of video if you're new around there please subscribe and like the video and any comments i will reply to underneath so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one Thank you.